Hi guys, it's Frances here and today I've partnered up with BioClarity to show you guys my daily skincare routine and give you a quick tutorial on my everyday makeup look. Let's get started with my morning routine. I hope you guys agree that the day has to start with a clean face. I'm currently using a cleanser from BioClarity made with cucumber, green tea, and chamomile. It gently cleanses my face without drying it out. Next, I'm applying some of their acne treatment gel. I don't break out often, but I just got back from two weeks in Europe and the humidity really took a toll on my skin. This spot treatment is perfect for clearing up dirt, oil, and bacteria, and my forehead is in desperate need of this right now. After spot treating, I'm taking a pump of this Restore Gel from BioClarity and applying it on the affected area. It helps reduce redness, so I'm just concentrating on my forehead and nose, but it can be applied all over the face to leave you feeling soothed and refreshed. Now let's moisturize. My skin is normally pretty dry, so this step is crucial for me. I recently discovered Dr. Jart's Ultimate Hydro Gel and I've been hooked. It's water-based and keeps my skin hydrated all day. While that soaks in, I'm moving on to the eyes. I've been using this eye cream from Origins Ginseng line. It's made with coffee and helps brighten and depuff my tired looking eyes. Lastly, I'm using the Photo Plasma Moisturizer by Paracone MD. I like this one because it's oil free and has SPF. I think it's really important to protect your skin from damaging sun rays. And that's pretty much it. Let's move on to makeup. Like I said, my skin is normally dry and my lips are no exception, so I always start off with chapstick. I'm currently using the Kiehl's Butter Stick Lip Treatment. Next, I'm going to prime my face with this Coconut Face Primer from Marc Jacobs. This stuff is amazing and I love the way it smells. Let's conceal. I'm taking some of this concealer from Onomi and applying it under my eyes and down my nose. A little extra on my forehead for those breakouts. Then I'll blend it out with a wet beauty blender. Moving on to foundation. I've been loving this one from Juice Beauty. It's all organic and super lightweight. Just a thin layer applied with a foundation brush and blend it out with my beauty blender for a velvety smooth finish. One of my favorite steps is contouring. I'm taking the ABH Cream Contour Kit and using the color Havana to give my face a little dimension. I especially love contouring under my lip. It gives an illusion of fuller lips. Now let's blend. I'm using a few different brushes here, so I'll link all the brushes I'm using down below in the description box. After that, I'm going to add a little more color with this Marc Jacobs Coconut Bronzer. This helps me set the color and take away the shine. Then, I'll set everything with this translucent setting powder from Laura Mercier. Baking makes me look too dry, so I just take a little bit of this and lightly dust it all over my face to prevent looking oily throughout the day. Let's move on to the eyes. I'm starting off with this primer from Smashbox. It's got a tacky feel and holds onto the eyeshadow all day long.
This is a palette I customized myself using the Crest Powder Shadows from ColourPop. Using this pearlescent color called Let Me Explain, I'll take a generous amount and apply on the inner corners of my lids up to my brow bone. To soften up my eyes, I'm using the Vacation Palette by Kylie. I love blending colors together, so I'm taking coconut and aloha and blending it out on the outer corners. From the same palette, I'm adding a bit of color with Sunset and Spray Tan. This soft copper color blends nicely over the taupe. Next up is eyeliner. I love the tip on this one from Lorac. It's firm and gives me full control when drawing out my wing. I'll overlap that with another liner from Lanka. It's extra, I know, but I don't love the applicator brush on this one, so I draw it out with a Lorac liner and overlap with the Lanka because it's super black and bold. Let's fill in my brows. I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe. And in case you're wondering, my brows are microbladed. I'll link the profile to my brow girl in the description. She is awesome. Now for lashes. I'm using Britney Bear by Lily Lashes, and I somehow forgot to get a clip of the glue I'm using, but it's a Korean one called Darkness. I'll link it down below. It's the best lash glue ever. Shout out to my best friend Ellen for introducing it to me a few years ago. Adding a flush of color with this duo from ColourPop. I've been obsessed with peachy blush since I first started wearing makeup in high school. Just a little bit on the apples of my cheeks should be enough. I'm outlining my lips with Strip Down from MAC. I don't know about you, but I always draw a little over the lip line. I've been obsessed with this matte lip color from Rimmel London. I've been using it every day. Now adding some highlight with the same ColourPop duo from earlier. Last but not least, Setting Spray by Milk Makeup. And there you have it, my everyday routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. Thanks for watching.